How's it going, guys? This is the Call of Black Helps Kid, and this is the public service announcement. Message brought to you by So Dumb Bro. Our spew is your bro. So, this isn't really a service announcement. This is more of like, I guess, what I would call a pet peeve. Council Wars is what I want to do. It's kind of a rant in a way because I see pretty much all over you know, any gaming forums, just in the gaming community in general. And I, I think it's, I think it's got to stop. It's time to stop. It's time to stop, okay? No more. Who are your parents? I'm going to call Child Protective Services. It's time to stop. If you're a true gamer, it shouldn't matter which console you play on, whether it be PS4, Xbox One, PC, Nintendo Switch, Wii, Wii U, it should not matter. If you're a freaking Atari fanboy, go for it. Um, that's the problem with today's generation, I do believe, you know. I, I, I enjoy the memes that say, like, Xbox or people are gay or PS4 people are gay because it's kind of funny to me in a way. You know, just to pick fun at. But when people take it, like, severely serious, like, where Xbox players say PS4 have uh, crappy exclusives or whatever. So there's there's good things about Xbox. There's good things about PS4. There's good things about pretty much any console that you play on. I guess I can address that now and make this the f official video of ending the console war. Because really, there's, there's no point to it. I mean, Sony's starting to back down from uh, not being able to cross-play, so that's that's really good for the gaming community. Um, I feel like no matter what, people are still going to attack people over which console they play on. Here's the thing. If you're a gamer and you enjoy playing video games, console war should not be a thing. So whether you play on a PlayStation, or you play on an Xbox, or you play on PC. PC has, is what I play on... Uh, majority now, uh, I was only a console player up until like two or three months ago. Uh, I think it was Mar March when I built mine and I was a console player and I played it for the last, uh, 20 years or whatever. For the last like three months I've played PC and there's just so much better deals, sales, games availability is always available except for Epic Game Store. We'll talk about that in a different video. It's like people attack each other over which console they play on. I have friends that have PlayStations. I mean, I play a lot of Xbox, but I own all the consoles. I own a PlayStation. It's been it's a little dusty, but it's there's nothing really been uh, that's really pushed me to, to play my PlayStation lately. I still occasionally pop on, I'll play Bugborn or whatever else. You know, that's that's the nice thing about um, owning all consoles. If you're a true gamer, that's what you should do, really. I bought a PlayStation 4, I think, uh, about a year or two ago. And I only bought it for the exclusives, really. That was the only reason I bought it. Xbox, I, I play a lot of because I have game sharing availability. So, I know I think Sony has that too, I do believe, but... Um, the friend that I do have that owns a lot of PlayStation games just doesn't want to give me his login, which makes sense, I guess, but, uh, whatever. But, maybe that would be a reason why I play it, but there's just so much, like, owning all consoles promotes another problem because, uh, then you have a problem with allocating, like, oh, I'm gonna play, you know, a game on my PC, or you end up playing more games on, my, on your PC, or if you have an Xbox, you play, you know, all the exclusive and maybe they're a little bit more enjoyable to you. Then you don't play your PlayStation. Or if you're just a PlayStation player, then you're missing out on uh, a couple of the Xbox exclusives. Not that there's much, but I feel like the, the Xbox fan base is a little toxic towards Sony. But I feel like Sony is more attackative towards Xbox. And really, at the end of the day, is you play on the console that you really want to play on. So... Play on your damn PlayStation and play Bloodborne and all these other great games like the Uncharted series. Or play your Xbox that's a little bit more uh, competitive based, maybe, I don't know. Um, there's a lot of games that I feel like are more uh, more competitive on Xbox, maybe. I've always played a lot on PSN, and I just found there's uh, a skill-based difference, I guess. Not really... Not that there's a tremendous amount. Maybe it was just the games that I was playing, like Call of Duty, I was just like pooping on kids and then call of duty i found there was a lot more skill base maybe there was more maybe i invested more time into it i don't know but i feel like um there's benefits to all consoles i love my nintendo switch like those games are mainly family oriented or more single player focused so 
um, they take Sony's approach to having um, only uh, like story or uh, narrative driven, but so much support is going to the Switch right now that it's kind of almost stupid not to own one because they have all these great Nintendo exclusives. And I feel like everyone's getting right towards the last generation, so there's not as many frequently games as there should be. Uh, I don't know of any Sony exclusive right now that's, like, blown anyone out of the market. So, it's getting towards the end. And I feel like with the next generation of consoles, the console war is starting to die down. Because cross-platform cross, cross platform is starting to finally happen. Because Sony's finally starting a little bit. Uh, let that happen. And I think that's a really cool idea. It's a really good initiative um, to let them actually uh, cross-play. Because I have a lot of friends that play PlayStation a lot of people started on Xbox and transferred over to PlayStation, and that's the main reason why I bought mine. I have a lot of friends that went from PlayStation to Xbox. I don't know. I hate PlayStation's controllers a little bit. They're too small for my, my hands are fucking fat and big, so maybe that's one of my problems. But I enjoy all the consoles, and if you're a true gamer, I feel like there should be no exclusivity, or you shouldn't be hating towards one console player just because of the console they play on i think that's stupid i think that's a dumb way to go if you're a console or if you're a, a gamer in general you're not gonna be like oh you play playstation you're gay or oh you play xbox you 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 love that vcr you play on <laughs> i still have a vcr but it's just it's stupid the gaming community should be brought together, not spread apart, depending on what console player. It's starting to fade away towards the end, but every now and again, I'll like look on IGN or I'll go on Facebook and read a gaming article, and they're like, PlayStation 4 is better than Xbox, and Xbox players are like, Xbox is better than PlayStation, or... It's just stupid. Just grow up a little bit. Maybe if you guys were like 15 and fighting about this, it's a little bit more temperament, but... I feel like it's really just, if you play games, you guys should all support each other. If you're a true gamer and you want to, exp if people are like, hey, look at all these great games we have. Uh, some people say PlayStation's exclusives are trash. And I disagree with that. If you say their exclusives are trash, maybe you can give all their other games a try. Or whatever. I think the Xbox is really going hard with their Game Pass. Although I don't understand how they the new games make money uh, or the studios get funding or maybe I don't I don't know how that works but um, it seems to be working out lots of people are actually buying Xboxes for this so um, that's good I'm excited for that I just feel like Xbox one had a butchered launch and maybe with Scarlet it'll help out a little bit and PlayStation 5 is basically gonna be the same specs as the Xbox one maybe that will help in merging the gap because there's no real difference between... I mean, Xbox is technically more powerful with the Xbox One X. But PS4 was already powerful more than the Xbox. And the Xbox was a little bit more expensive. So, it was just a butchered launch. I feel like that was the problem. But I'm rambling on. Stop the console war. Stop attacking each other for who what console you play on. Just merge together and make peace. You know, sign a, sign a damn tree or something. And talk about video games. You know. Everyone started on a Nintendo 64, well, anyone from my generation, you know, anyone that's playing now or like Xbox or PS2 or even PlayStation 3 from some people. And, you know, back in those days, Nintendo 64 was the man. If you had an Xbox, you were, you were gay. Just keep it to yourself. Really, that's all. At the end of the day, that's what I want. I'm trying to, I like to see the gaming community a little bit more strung together. Uh, rather than spread apart because, you know, Epic Games is giving a little, um, they're tearing PC players apart with exclusivity. And mainly it's about money with Steam and how much they take away when they sell a game. And that's, I guess, a, a good idea to bring a light about how much these guys are making by doing nothing. So... That's probably why Steam is in a lot of good things for small independent creators, uh, getting their game out there and uh, trying to make it good. Um, and Epic Games, I feel like their broken format is just trying to uh, make money, just like Steam is, but cutting costs down. Anyways, uh, 
thank you guys so much for watching. At the end of the day, stop the council wars. That's all I ask. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this is a little bit of a lazy video. We'll have some good content coming very soon. Uh, we'll have a review in the next couple days. My name is Pedro on Nintendo Switch and PC, the first ever multi-platform review. So thanks, guys, so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. It's not fair. We had twice the flavor. Ah!